Welcome to the project demonstration of <coughs> electricity power generation from speed breakers using roller mechanism. So in this project, so this whole system considers a speed breaker. Whenever the vehicle moves on from this speed breaker, then the system will rotate with inertia getting from the vehicle speed and this attached to a flywheel. So here we are using this helical gear setup as a flywheel and when it rotates, so there is a gear attached to this. So here we have attached the gear to the spark gear mechanism so here there are the two gears we can observe so one is the higher ratio one and for gear ratio increasing we are using the uh, small gear which is attached to the gear uh, gear dc motor so here the gear ratio is going to be the this one is going to be the 5 is to 1 uh, 5 1 is to 5 so when it rotates one rotation then this rotates the 5 rotations so here coming to this in this gear box there are another uh, spark gears so which will convert the 100 rpm to 2400 rpm so here 5 is to uh, 1 is to 5 and again uh, 100 to 2400 rpm so this one will generate the 12 volts maximum based on that so if rotates this gear uh, rotations per minute equal to 100 rotations per minute then it will generate the 12 volts maximum which is sufficient to charge our 12 volts battery so we are going to provide the input to the 12 volts battery uh, through the charging circuit so here we are using the <coughs> charging circuit of so this is a charging circuit so which will take this dc power generated from this dynamo so at this slot so here we can we wrote t or g so this going to the generator so if you want to charge a battery from the generator you need to connect this over there and if you want to charge a battery from the transformer so then we need to connect the t here so this is going to be the optional charging section to charge a battery so if there is no sufficient power generating from the mechanism then you can charge that with help of this transformer so for the charging just you need to connect the cable over here and then the light indication over there so once uh, the light is on then the battery is charging so it will take maximum of 10 hours to be fully charged so coming to this charging circuit explanation so we are providing AC here so 230 volts inputs transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and this rectifier on this charging circuit we can see four diodes are connected in a manner of bridge rectifier so with the bridge rectifier purpose is it will convert the pul uh, AC to pulsating DC and this capacitor will remove the pulses for smoothing purpose so we will get 12 volts DC so there is a light indication and once the 12 volts DC given to the battery the battery will be charged so coming to the battery rating so, so here we are using six batteries so in that three batteries are connected in series and these three uh, two sets are connected in parallel so that each battery of 4 volt 1 amp connected in series with the remaining two so that 12 volt 1 amp and these two are connected in parallel so we will get 12 volts 2 amps so that is a uh, output from this one is 24 watts mm. so that was given as input to the street lights application purpose so if you want to on that you can just switch on this this is the street light application purpose so now let us see the demonstration with full fledged mechanism mm. so now we need to connect this over G or T slots right so when we rotate this mechanism so you can see the light charging light is indication over there so there we get the mm. power generation right so here